Hey folks, happy, I guess uh, today is Monday, so happy Monday. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Um, I had the, the, I guess the luxury or the uh, opportunity to ride on a train, which is pretty cool. I don't get to ride on trains very often. Um, yeah, so hey everybody, I am Joshua. This is my lunch break game development stream where I work on a project of my choosing over my lunch hour. And it's been, it's been fun. It's, it's a nice way for me to break up my day and still pursue uh, topics that um, I normally don't put time towards. So this is um, this series lately has been me working on a, a Quake tool. Um, and this particular tool is used to convert uh, 2D tile maps into uh, 3D Quake maps. And uh, I've been having some uh, good degrees of success with that. Uh, so let me, let me think. Let me just go ahead and preview what I've been working on. I think I, think I worked on some of this maybe uh, over the weekend. I can't remember. Let, let's, let's take a peek. Um, I think I've been playing around with actually slapping textures on, um, yeah, slapping textures on um, my tiles, which um, is is nice. I've also been playing around with using um, multiple tile layers to add in the ceilings and these um, these wooden beam posts things. These are all. Uh, on their own separate layer, and I can just kind of paint them in as I as I see fit. Um, I still do have the texture. I haven't solved the the texture problems yet, so we still have textures that are misaligned. Um, again, I I've been again I've been trying to figure this out. I've been trying to do some math on my own. I've been reading uh, how other people have solved it. I reached out to um, uh, a few folks. Uh, so hopefully I get some guidance. Uh, if not, I will keep working on it. But otherwise, uh, there are other ways to kind of work around this in the meantime. Um, so yeah, so this is where it's at, and I've just been kind of having fun just slapping down these these little extra bits, and I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll kind of keep working on this tile set because it's been fun, and um, yeah. Um, so this is the tile set that I was talking about, and I have a couple of layers. Um, I have, this is the, this is just the general floor layer, and I added a ceiling layer uh, that I can specify uh, right now, I just have a high ceiling, um, and it, I, I made it to make it a little bit easier. I made it um, mostly transparent. These these bottom right corners represent the ceiling, so I could maybe go down here and put in a ceiling here uh, and see what that looks like. So we can save that, and then have a little script to run my tool, and we can build the map, and we can add some AAO to it, and um, yeah, yeah. The pillars, um, also the pillars, as you can see, they're designed. Um, so again, my, my map is built, so the tiles on my map are built with three layers of verticality. And I try to add uh, on the pillars, uh, different spots where when they, get, when they get chopped off, they still look good. Um, so like I, I try to account for a pillar being on the lowest level, uh, a pillar being on the mid level and the pillar on the high level looks all right, I think. Um, uh, let me see if I can find an example of it. I think I have one floating around here somewhere. Yeah, so the pillar uh, up here, this is a pillar on the high level and there's nothing above it. So this is what the top of a pillar looks like. Um, yeah, and here's a, here's a pillar that is the entire uh, low to high. So yeah, so that's, those are the kind of things I'm keeping in mind when designing my, my, um, my tiles and then adding in um, a roof to this area looks, looks interesting. Um, maybe I'll play around with creating a, a, a low ceiling maybe. Um, well, yeah, so Jazz is, is commenting that it looks less like it's made uh, out, of, out of the blocky geo. Yeah, I'm just adding some variation here and there uh, definitely helps uh, break that up. I tried also playing around with, um, uh, I'm using a, the version of QSBP that su supposedly uh, supports um, uh, external map prefabs, but I haven't, I've, I've tried getting it to work and it just throws an exception. Uh, so. Uh, if you have used Q, the, the latest version of uh, Eric W's QSBP, and you do have um, uh, external map prefabs working, uh, please uh, drop me a line. So I'm, I'm curious to know what I'm doing wrong because it's really not that complicated of an entity. Um, let's play around with um, uh, making a middle, like a, a ceiling for the mid area. So for the high area, I think I, I left like. 64 units. Let's just, let's just take a peek and see what that looks like. Um, let's fire up trench broom and look at some of these these uh, levels. So I think 
16 is yeah so that's the the high ceiling and i believe um i plan on well the the so the high floor sits at 96 units um let me make sure this is actually like uh centered on zero zero so i'm i'm actually measuring this correctly there we are okay so this is at zero zero and uh, this is 96 units tall so it looks like i am affording at least 96 units of uh, head clearance um so let me do let me do the same thing for um the the low ceiling so let me just prototype it out real quick um actually let me not uh, let's go back here and make these i think they need to be 128 by 128 i believe is what i've been designing for so 128 um by 128 cool and then um i think 256 so if i duplicate so if i duplicate this and drop it down to the zero zero or the the z equals zero plane um then like maybe just offset it just a touch and then pull this up to a height of 256 okay so that's i think that's as tall as it it needs to go so if i match that then now i can delete this uh this geo here Um, and then let me just texture it with something. Uh, there we go. I see the proper dimension. Let me just throw on, oh, um, I guess I've, I've been using uh, wall 11.2, I think, uh, kind of to cross levels. Let me just uh, file, save as, and this can be tile 17. Cool. There we go. And um, let's just kind of see what this looks like when I start slamming it down, um, if it's how useful it really is. Uh, so file, open recent, 3D tiles, and then down here. Uh, again, I'm just going to duplicate this and just put a little, a slightly different. Uh, give that, control D brush and this just needs to be a an, an m uh save and then now we can jump back to our 2d tile map and then we should have our our m there so this would work i guess this should work best over um the the uh the normal floor the this middle tan so let's go back to our ceiling layer um let's uh erase that one and then let's go to our middle level ceiling and let's just put in i guess i'm gonna put the middle level ceiling in all throughout here uh let's see what that looks like i should need to put it on these angled bits because i think these angled bits have ceilings question mark i think they do uh save and let's go and see what it looks like just as far as like um like head clearance and all that all that goodness um i didn't add a mapping for it because i am uh, i'm a dummy so quit uh okay so let's go go to uh let's go to the our little definition okay uh, mapping.json and then we need to just duplicate that and then 17 save my tool should have thrown a little a little thing saying hey i don't know what to do with that um or just okay it just okay it just failed so well it shouldn't do that it should at least warn us so let's take a look at my tool control g252 um so prefab equal tiles at tiles at GID. I'm pretty sure I did a um, tiles.get, right? Yeah, I'm doing it. 
right here, which is... I'm curious why this is not... Um... Oh, maybe because it's hitting it multiple times. Um... Um... So if tile, like it, so this... Um... Uh, if so, this is what I need to do. If tile that you did not. So I still need to do the continue. If I um, so what what happened? What's happening is I think I need to. Uh, if we can't find the tile, um, and this is the first time uh, that we've come across it, worn. Uh, and continue. Otherwise, just continue. Um, so let me let me clear out my mapping real quick, uh, and then rerun this and make sure that we don't get a uh, an issue. And I can just uh, copy and paste from my script. Uh, uh, sure. Cool. Yeah. So it says warning, missing tile mapping for GID eighteen. Okay. So that way. Okay. Cool. So and it didn't. It didn't bail. So that's that's exactly what we want. Okay. Uh, let's go. Oh wait. That's not what I want. Yeah. So it's still it's still built, but we over here just the the ceiling's not what we expect it to be. Quit. Um. So let's go back to our mappings and just add uh, mapping seventeen back in. And go. Uh, there we go. Yeah. This actually feels, this feels too low. Uh, maybe I'll pull this, this value up to 128. I don't know, like the way this, these doors are working is uh, making it feel like that's the lowest it should be, but then you get this weird, yeah, maybe it's all right. Um, let's do that instead. Uh, cool. So entrench broom. Again, uh, I think I just need to lift this up uh, this high. Is that right? Because if I duplicate this and pull it down, uh, that will be sitting on the Yep, the z equals zero plane. Uh, so I can delete that, save that, and let's rerun the tool, and then check and see what that looks like. I'm just gonna no clip straight ahead. Uh, and at least it, the ceiling at least lines up with that, and we have some breathing room, even though like the floor, there's a bit of a gap there, but that's probably okay, like that can, I can live with that. Um, yeah, and let's just, uh, let's fancy up the, uh, the transition there a little bit. Um, yeah, let's play around with some trim and all that, all that goodness. Uh, okay, so duplicate down, pull that up, and what? Um, I've been just putting, I've just been slapping various metal bits on there. Uh, I just worry. Let's see. What that and that. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that this um, this looks interesting unlit. I think um, I was I was chatting with some folks about that this morning, like how often people um, check their unlit maps for uh, for like contrast and stuff like that. That's that's probably not the worst. I don't think. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just adding some vertical elements too to break it up a little bit more. Maybe. Um, yeah, just to make it more interesting, maybe. What if I... How to do... So... Uh, hey, hey, Cambertian. Got it there. And I got it there. I can maybe 
call this out somehow. I wonder if it makes sense to do like the opposite. I don't know. And then, like, have this come all the way down? And then have this be that little, this bit? I'm not sure if that works better or worse. Yeah, let's just try it, right? There, there's no, there's no harm in just seeing what it looks like. If it's the worst thing in the world, I can, I can do something else. Uh, but I have a feeling it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Okay, and then maybe I think, hmm, yeah, maybe uh, switching grids just a little bit and just pushing this in for just a little bit of indentation so my AO can actually do work, uh, I think is good. So let's try that. Uh, I think that's all right. Uh, save, go. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I am still still a little stumped on the texture uh, transformation. Um, yeah, that looks kind of cool. We get a, little, a small gap there, but it's not the, again, not the worst. Um, looks like I goofed up on this bottom trim piece, though. Maybe I should have the whole, the whole metal wrap around? Let's try that. Um... Yeah, let's just do something like this. Nope, nope. There we go. And then just make. Hmm, 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 hmm. Right. Uh, that is a thing to do. Again, I guess similar, similarly to how I did that, I could just bump that up. Again, for it to, just to catch some AO. Um, it's, it's not necessarily the trick in calculus that's tripping me up. It's just the um, like the correct way to. Um, It looks all right, I guess. I don't know. Um, maybe the maybe the repetition is too much. Uh, it's just the general algorithm. Like, what's the kind of the 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 best way to transform it? Hmm. Not sure if I actually dig that or not. Like, I go the other. Third? No. Yeah, they could try the other direction. It's certainly different. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if that adds or detracts. <laughs> um, I guess for the time being, let me just uh, let me just flatten it out, and then uh, I'll play around with having this in other areas and see how it kind of works with different uh, different um, heights. So we have this medium ceiling. Um, if I put it on this, it's it's going to definitely block it off, so it's impassable, right? That's going to like um, intersect here. So if I were so if I don't mind blocking off some upper stuff, where would I block it off at? Now let's just try right here and see how that works. And then um, I think, um, so I have these, this, this is all high ceiling here, uh, but what if it low ceiling like that? I don't know. It's it adds something. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm totally into it, but maybe if I drop that that high ceiling in the middle there, that might be more uh, appealing. So I can just go through here and just maybe um, erase this bit here. Um, save, go, wrong go. Cool. Yeah, that feels a little weird. Okay. I don't know, maybe having this opened up isn't the worst here in the middle. I don't know, it kind of feels strange. I don't want to break connectivity of those areas though. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I do like what the ceiling is adding. Um, again, it just helps break up some of the, the blockiness of the map, and it doesn't super feel like just copy-paste everywhere, even though it still really is. I mean, again, it's, it's not the same kind of level you'd get with a handmade map, but um, for fast results, it's not the worst. Um, yeah. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Starting to feel more level-ish, I guess. Let me play around with the ceiling in this area. Maybe this is, it can, it can benefit from some of this stuff I've been doing. I quit, which is, I believe, this area over here. Um, yeah, let me just add this mid-ceiling kind of um, over this section. Um, uh, let me just try that and then see um, how I like it, if I like it. Yeah, it's okay. Again, it's just the, I guess it's just that this, this upper floor and the ceiling are just so close uh, in, in height that it, it does make it, I mean, you can still see through it, so it's, maybe it's a feature that way, but. Can I, can I do it? I probably can't. I'm probably not that good. No, I'm not that good. Um, yeah. I could have, I could have, I could just kind of sporadically add the high ceiling in here. That could be an interesting look. Um, so let's do that. So in here, go to the high ceiling, and I kind of have like maybe a checker pattern uh, going. And I could just add in some posts where I think it might need. So no, this should be okay. Let's save it and see what that looks like. Ugh. Sorry about folks about typing in command line. Uh, stuff into my uh, my Twitch chat there. The Twitch chat in my command line is meant to be a convenience thing, but I don't know if it really is. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And I think for the most part it is attached to Geo reasonably okay, so it's not super crazy. Uh, this one might be the craziest one, but I can put a post underneath it. That's that one right there. 
So I'm on the add layer. I can just drop in a, a post here, maybe. There we go. Save um, and go. Um, hey, uh, hey, Heembond. <laughs> uh, thanks for thanks for popping in. Uh, Jamie had to leave so early, but thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your support. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that looks that looks all right. Makes it feel quasi plausible. I don't know. Um, also, kind of helps the space feel a little bit different with these two different le uh, levels going on as well. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, I wonder if like I could adding a small uh like adding the medium level ceiling back here uh will kind of make it feel like this will definitely make this spot impassable, which might be bad. Um and then high here. Um I don't know. Let's just try it. Uh, it's quick. It's very quick to uh, iterate on this, which is the whole point of uh, this exercise is to uh, just make a, a highly quickly iter iterable thing. So yeah, that space is starting to feel a little bit more interesting. This th space is definitely feeling more interesting. Um, Yeah, I don't know if that's doing a lot right there. I mean, I could just change up the tile. So yeah, we could, we could just fix that tile real quick. It's, it's, it's bugging me. Yeah, so this one's not really doing much. So I can just grab the wall tile. Uh, maybe on this uh, here and just slam that there. Um, and save. And go. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I could actually make it the, like this, uh, I added this kind of, um, this alternate wall tile that kind of add a little bit more contrast. I think that might, that might work better in that spot. Um, and also maybe adding a post here to break up this line of sight might not be bad. I don't know. Let's try both those things. Let's grab uh, this alternate wall text or this wall tile there, and then go to our add layer and add a post in, maybe here. Uh, oh, did I put did I put ceiling in my? I did put ceiling in my. Turn off ceiling. There. Let's um. Uh, yeah, let's let's erase all this, and then go back to my ceiling layer, and turn it on. Uh, there we go. So high, and then mid, and maybe high. Also, I'm thinking like that. And on my info player start, I can pull it back maybe there. Save and go. Cool. Yeah. Having these little pockets of light is kind of cool. There we go. And again, I got that, that straightened out. Having the post right in front of the stairs feels silly. But having this, um, this kind of contrasty texture here is, is nice. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that post. I don't think it makes sense. Um, ooh, I did it. Can I jump? Yeah, I don't think I can make this jump, though. Especially with the, 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 the height there for the ceiling. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, this, yeah, this area is also looking kind of dull back here. I think actually with the, the stairs now, I can actually make that jump. But let's just cheat and see I made the jump. Yeah, coming out here. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, have you considered lights? How much you approach lighting with this tool? Yeah, yeah. Um, so Jay, uh, Jay Mickle is asking, 
Um, how would I approach lighting? Um, there are a couple things you can do. Um, so right now I'm just running it with ambient, like a, a fake ambient occlusion. So it just kind of does like these, uh, I think it's like dirt mapping or however you want to call it. It just kind of looks for um, uh, like occlusions in, in corners and stuff. Um, you can just, um, you could put lights into tiles. Like uh, I do support uh, point entities being embedded into uh, 3D tiles. So if you wanted to make a wall tile with uh, torches on it, you could certainly do that. Um, and also you can just drop them as uh, entities. So let me try that. Let's hit quit. And I think I can do something like, uh, let's duplicate our player. And let's make this a, what is the entity name? I'm gonna use trench room to get the props I need. So light. It's just, um, let me just drop it there. So it is just a light. So let me go to my tile ed and set this to uh, name light. Um, I wish there was a better way to place these. View. I thought there was a fine. So there, I thought there was a fine grid. Uh, show grid view. Show grid view. Um, See, so snap to fine grid. Okay, so there is a fine grid. I just can't see it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So let's just kind of put the light there, and the light needs properties. Right now, it's at 120, which is Probably a little high, let's put it at 96. Uh, I don't think it needs an angle. Uh, we can delete this key. And it needs a, uh, probably a light. What property does it need? A light value, it has a light value of 300. Just set, just set it uh, to that. So uh, light, and we're gonna set it as a float, I suppose. Uh, 300. Mm. Actually, let's make these torches. Uh, that'd be easy enough to do. So I think it's, um, I think it's just, um, just search lights, torch, so light, underscore torch, underscore small, underscore wall torch. That is, that is a mouthful of a class name. Uh, well, let's do it. So here, let's just replace the name like that. And I think that's, yeah, I think it's all, it's all good beyond that. So we can just, I think we can slam these on the walls or pretty close. Let's just try slamming it right on the other side of these walls. Um, uh, let's hit save. And um, uh, we have to edit our, our script just a little bit. Let's do, um, I guess let's just try doing a, just doing a basic lighting. Let's just see how that looks. Go. It potentially, okay. Yeah, so we have that there. Yeah, they're embedded into the wall, so you might want to pull them out just a little bit, but that they, they worked okay. Um, I think, I, I think there's a sunlight property I can add to world spawn. Maybe. Um, Um, so Brizip is saying, um, sunlight and sunlight too can be used in the latest here. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. So I do have that. Um, I think I copied the property. Do I copy the properties over from, yeah, let me just try setting that actually on, uh, file open recent, let's just open tile zero. So I think I, uh, I copy the properties. So if I just go to world spawn and sunlight. Um, and Brizip is linking me to the docs. Very cool. Um, sunlight. Go, go. 
Uh, there's a sunlight two. Uh, let me just try adding underscore sunlight 300. Save and then go. I think I copy over the properties. Uh, yeah, it looks like it looks like it is a straight down um, sunlight. So uh, for certain areas, it works all right. If I've left it relatively open, it works okay. Um, it's probably way too. It's probably I don't know. It's, it's too too contrasty for my liking. But um, yeah, uh, I think there are little knobs you can tweak um, to to get better results. This is just a very um, so yeah, sunlight has a mangle, uh, it has a penumbra. Uh, great. Yeah. So yeah, you you could definitely you can definitely do um, um, lighting um, and setting it on a particular tile world spawn is probably not the best way to do it. Uh, um so let me just save that um it might be it might be nicer like i think in tile it you can have um uh, map map properties and maybe these custom properties here um i just assume are on world spawn uh, that might make sense um because you don't you don't you wouldn't want to do it on a per per layer um sunlight two for ambient lighting yeah let's just let's, let's try see if we, if we can hook up um these map properties here um, to just world spawns. So I think that's in, in tiled. That seems to be the best place to add it. So uh, un, this is underbar um, sunlight two, and then uh, sunlight two. Yeah, let's just try that. It's a float. It looks like, uh, and it looks like uh, the example is one ninety. And then what I need to do is somehow access this, these properties and copy them over to world spawn. Um, so I think in my my script, I pretty early on uh, create a world spawn. Yeah, I do have I do have a world spawn property here, um, and we I think we have loaded the tile map by this time. Um, pretty sure we have. Let me just add a breakpoint there, um, and let's just debug this. Okay, uh, we should have our tile map. Um, and um, I, I did set a property on that, right? And I did save it. Uh, so let's find out where these custom properties live on our map. Um, tile map, not tile map. Uh, here, let's just uh, inspect. There we go. So we have a tile map. It has properties of yeah i really would have thought it's would have set there i mean um maybe um maybe the i know the version of tmx uh, that uh, there is a the package tmx i'm using for python is a little bit older so it might not support these properties which would be a bummer um because it, it is the I think the most advanced um, uh, package that loads TMX stuff. Oh. oh, I might be looking at the wrong thing. Let's just check that out. Let's just let me just make sure edit configurations. Uh, yeah, I am looking at the wrong thing. So basic two, uh, basic two, uh, basic two. Okay, apply. Okay, and debug. That might change what we're looking at. Um, so, uh, as a tile map, inspect properties. Beautiful. Okay, so we do have our property bag, and we do have the sunlight too uh, with value one ninety. So, uh, wherever we create the world spawn, um, then we can just rattle through whatever properties we've set on the map and just set those. Um, so for uh, prop in uh, tile map dot properties um i think i do this somewhere else too right um uh 
uh, I shouldn't have uh, pass uh, debug tile map properties. Um, each property object has a name and a value. That's easy enough. Um, so set adder on world spawn. Um, the so prop dot name and prop dot value. Cool. Uh, go. Uh, so our, our our world spawn now should have a um, sunlight two property. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so let's check this out. Go. Yeah, I think being being able to add. Um, did I do it wrong? Wait. Uh, let's try. I know I was doing uh, sunlight work, so underscore sunlight, and then a value of like three hundred uh, worked earlier. Save, and let's check that out. I should get the same result I got earlier if I'm not doing anything crazy. Yeah. So that so that property worked okay. Um, Uh, quit. So I think I'm just using the sunlight to property incorrectly. Um, um, oh, sunlight and sunlight two can work together. Interesting. So um, let's just take this down uh, to like a hundred, something, something small, and then uh, underbar sunlight. Two. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, sunlight two, uh, 190. Uh, maybe, do I need to add a sunlight color for that to work as well? Uh, the example has that. Uh, let me just lift the sunlight color as well. So, uh, underscore sun, sunlight uh, two underscore color. This is going to be of type string. Okay. And then it looks like the example is 0 0.5, 0 0.56, and uh, 1.0. Save and go. Um, and I just saw a, so Razeep says, the new property make it sunlight two. The sunlight needs to be brighter than sunlight two. So 300 for sunlight is good enough. So yeah, so 300. Save, let's check that out. See, I'm just not sure what is is sun, uh, what is sunlight sunlight two's contribution then. Maybe I'm missing it. Um, so I thought sunlight was supposed to be like indirect ish lighting. Um, uh, Oh, I need to also, I think I need to add uh, light dash bounce to my command line. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's brightened up the walls a, a touch. Um, I want to add just a little bit more. So let's go to our, um, our sunlight too, and maybe pull that up to like, say, uh, 210, save, go. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so I think that might be that might be blowing it out, but yeah, so I'm just trying to add just a little bit of bounce light into these areas here where we would still get light and without, but I, want, I don't want to blow this out either. So that's kind of a, a balancing act, I suppose. Um, Yeah, this, this looks all right in here. Pretty dark back here, but I could, I could fix that by putting a torch or something back there. I'm getting some weird artifacts. Is there... Yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. I mean... Yeah, this is... It looks like it's solid. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, let me try reducing my sunlight. Uh, what would that, what would that reduce the, the bounce? Yep. Yeah. Thank you for the, thank you folks for helping me uh, figure this out. Uh, save and save. This is, uh, I mean, we try print pulling this up to 240. That might not be, that might not be good though. Yeah, that might be a geometry based issue, uh, Breezy. Yeah, this so our, yeah, so this still feels really blown out. Um, we still get a, we get a little bit of AO going on here, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, no, it seems to be doing okay. Um, yep. Uh, I think I could probably play around with just slamming some torches on walls too, uh, dropping their light va their light values down substantially. Three hundred is too much, uh, but maybe uh, one hundred and fifty, uh, one hundred and fifty, and then maybe this can can live. Um, maybe let's duplicate it and put one over here. Uh, I wonder if that'll generate issues yeah i could i could play with the, the mangle um on the sunlight yeah that brightens things that brightens things up a touch but i might have lowered the value on those torches down too much i, the, I guess out in the open they, they 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 blow out the uh the lighting but here it's pretty small contribution um yeah. Let me get rid of the torches here then, because we don't need them. Because it's it's. Uh, how do I delete you? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's also lower this to like say forty eight, and then light two hundred. And I think I needed. I also needed one maybe back here as well for a little bit of guidance. Um, uh, Shambonat is asking, am I using multiple layers or different shaped prefabs? Ooh, this is also a weird uh, artifact I'm getting as well. Um, yeah, weird. Admit, did I not notice that before? Um, yeah, that, that brightens things up quite nicely on this side. Um, I should probably put one in between the door there. Um, so Ben, I'm using multiple layers. Um, um, Yeah, right, right there should be uh, sufficient. Yeah, so uh, I have a, a layer for, um, uh, so I have a, I guess the order doesn't matter. I have a layer for the floor geo, and I have a layer for the ceiling geo, and then I have a layer for just uh, extra additive geo, just to slam in there. Um, Yeah, yeah. So Midbook is, is, is kind of uh, noticing that I, I think I had multiple torches like duplicated on top of each other here. That's probably why it was um, so bright. I, I could have swore I put a torch there. Did I not? Did the compile fail? Or did my, did my tool fail? Uh, no. No. Was the entity just like completely... Um, let's... Grab this little entity and let's pull it up here. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what's going on with some of these weird. Now I'm getting. It feels like I'm. It feels like I'm getting more uh, lighting issues than I than I was. But maybe it's it's an issue of the bounce or something. Yeah, there we go. That worked out nicely. Yeah, it helps call out that door a little bit. That stupid, stupid door. <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, whatevs. So this is this is an interesting little little space here. Kind of not in, not intentional, but it looks. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Yeah, no. It's it, this, this. It's starting to yield interesting results, which is, I guess, the whole the whole point of this project. I could slam a post right there. 
uh, unless I intend to actually use that space for something, but I can just go to my add layer and grab this post, just slam it right there. And one right there for symmetry and then erase this. Well, you, you can get stuck back there now, but let's go ahead and go to this layer and then just maybe uh, just putting in a bit of a, a walkway. Maybe that makes sense somehow. I don't know. Uh, Shamblot's also saying you can give world spawn a min light if you don't want it to be pitch black, which is also that that would be nice as well. Like like a um kind of like a um some lighting things use like a it's like an ambient level just to just to add. Yeah, no, this actually it adds a little bit a little bit more in, uh, connectivity, which is cool. I think this is a nice little little looking facade here, which isn't which is which is I guess what I was hoping for. Um. Not not enough really much room to appreciate the facade, so we could we could just give it a little bit more run up to it. Uh, so I can probably how much room do I have? A little. Um, I think let's do something like this and just scoot the, this whole section over one, and then let's kind of clean up the geo real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, and then this whole section needs to kind of go back one as well. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, now maybe I have a little bit, a little bit of room. I can slam in some posts here just cause, um, I don't think I've broken my map. I haven't exposed anything to void. I think I can erase, uh, those bits. Um, cool. Save and let's check it out. Go. Oh, but I, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that is a problem. I guess working in multiple layers is like now, like um, uh, this add layer, like these. Uh, these need to go over and uh, erase the ones that are on top of the stairs. Um, what about the ceiling? Do I need to fix the ceiling at all back here? Um, maybe just uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, and then scoot over our player. I have multiple player starts, but somehow I got my entities all duplicated. Do I have multiple? I do have multiple super shotguns there? I don't know why. Uh, save. Uh, go. I might have gotten a little um, a little happy with my control D uh, for duplicating stuff. Um, and now I don't have one there. Oh, it's oh, it fell down. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It seems all right. Uh, I can't make that jump. Um, yeah. So I guess the whole point of that, that thing was just to add a little bit more run up to this this area, right? So you can kind of appreciate this uh, facade more. Um, I think maybe it's even more the better view of it's over here on this side, but I goofed that up. Quit. Uh, so in the ceiling layer, I just need to erase this right here. Go. So then I should be able to run over here. And not on that side, but on this side, there's a ramp up and I can check out yeah cool the thing yeah these definitely have a weird kind of style to them but hopefully it's not super off-putting uh yeah cool i have five minutes left on my stream i think i've made okay progress today i got a little um like a little bit done on the tool itself i've been kind of fiddling with these maps trying to understand uh, the space of making these maps a little bit better. Uh, again, input from folks helping me figure out what I'm doing wrong with the compiler is always appreciated. Um, yeah, and it's starting to feel like a more interesting space. Um, so, certainly starting to feel more like an actual level, which is cool. Um, I can just slam down a few more torches, I guess. It's a thing I can do. Uh, object layer, and then... Um, D, I wanted to kind of tuck one maybe right there. Um, and um, 
did where else did we need one? It's just kind of dark in general in this area. Um, I could go for symmetry and throw another one on this side, but I'm worrying that it'll blow out the geo in between. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe quick is. I think it's smart enough to do for the light maps to not for that effect not to happen. And of course, I, there's a pillar right there, which is uh, dummy Joshua did not fix. Yeah, copying and pasting isn't as smooth as it as it was when it is just a single layer, but so okay, I suppose. Just adding a little bit more light. Um I don't know if that's doing anything for me anymore. This this area right here is kind of an odd an odd shape. Let me fix that. Uh let's go to our floor layer, wall two, let's just do something like that. Um Let's go to our add layer and let's do that. Clean that up. Um, and let's go to our ceiling layer. Let's put a high ceiling bit right there. I think that makes sense. I don't know. Um, save. Go. Cool. That feels all right. I don't think I made any changes over here, did I? I think most of my changes were just in this these areas. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess I did add, yeah, a little bit there, but yeah, not 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 a substantial amount. Cool. Yes. <laughs> what what else? It it does feel like a level. A strange one. But it does feel like a Oh, and I have multiple armors there, of course. Of course I do. I think this this effectively kills this jump here, but can't make it anyways. Hmm. Oh well, uh, quit. Yeah, I could probably. I'm slamming these everywhere. Just uh, here. And duplicate, and maybe put one here, and then make it negative forty-eight. So we can see what's going on there. Let's put our pull our super shotgun back there, so it's trying to tempt folks. Oh, I see what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm used to some programs control. Yeah, control D is duplicate, but it also can be deselect. Uh, in this case, it is duplicate. So a lot of times when I was trying to deselect stuff, I was in fact um, duplicating stuff. Cool. Uh, all right, I think this is probably gonna be the last little run through this map. So I think I am out of time. I do try to keep this to one hour over my lunch hour because I do have work to do. Um, nice. Uh, and that little little wall torch there does help. Um, yeah, maybe just add some. I mean, it's, it's pretty quick to get stuff placed in and uh, see what how it feels. This area is definitely. I could probably put something overhead here to darken this area up a little bit because it feels it feels way too open. Um, I don't know, but I do I guess I do like I do like having the sky bits show through just for their light value, if not anything else. Um, okay, cool. Uh, all right, folks. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it a stream. Uh, I am Joshua. Uh, you can follow me here on Twitch or on Twitter at Joshua Skelly if you like to see uh, what I am up to. Um, I am also uh, a Twitch. Uh, affiliate somehow. Uh, and I thank the the folks that do support me uh, in that endeavor. And I do have, I believe I have seven uh, wonderful um, uh, subscribers. Uh, and I think I think I lost a few because probably the the month ran out. But whatever. Um, uh, it, it's like I, I'm not gonna like get rich or starve because of this. But I consider it like a tip jar. So if you want to see more of it, or it's entertaining, or has any sort of uh, educational value, please feel free 
please subscribe. Um, if you are a Twitch Prime person, you can throw it my way. Uh, but these folks have taken the plunge in no particular order. They are Smith, Dr. Kegel, Neil Slichter, Bill the Dill, Nix Rod, Johnny Law, and Shambler Knot. Thank you folks so much for supporting uh, my streaming efforts. And I do intend to keep doing a lunch break stream as long as I possibly can. Uh, so Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Um, also, I do have a Discord server, uh, which is, is a thing. Um, let me drop a link there. And I think I've lost my, lost my chat. Nope. No chat going on. Cool. So yeah, so there's a Discord server. Uh, Discord? Uh, and the server has channels for every project I'm working on. So there is a quick tools channel if you want to talk about this stuff there. The latest version of this tool that is released is pinned there. So if you want to download it and give it a whirl, uh, please do. Um, and also let me know what you think about it. Um, I think that's it. Uh, folks, have a good rest of your day. Um, I know I will. And thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, take care.